Okay, so you have a Wix website, but you and your customers cannot find it anywhere online. Frustrating, I know, I've been there. After putting all this time and energy into creating a Wix website, and then no one can even find it online. Well, don't worry, today I'm going to show you how you can further optimize your Wix website's SEO in order to rank your website pages on Google. This will allow your website to get discovered by the right people, to increase your organic traffic, and ultimately drive more bookings and sales. Okay, so just quickly, before we launch into Wix SEO, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into our Wix website. Okay, so here we are inside my Wix dashboard. Now to engage in SEO, to optimize your website for SEO, you can do this on Wix's free plan or premium plans. The activities, strategies, and principles behind SEO are universal across websites. Okay, so once you've arrived inside your Wix dashboard, simply navigate up to edit site. Now, if you're completely new to Wix and you wanna learn how to navigate and fully take advantage of Wix to build a stunning, functional, and responsive website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get started with Wix. Now, in terms of optimizing your website for SEO, the first thing that we wanna look at is your page copy, the quality of your content. You wanna navigate through each of your different website pages and you wanna make sure that the copy the content is optimized. You want to take the time to navigate through all your different Wix website pages and you want to optimize the content. You wanna make sure that you're providing high quality content on each of your website pages on each of your different sections. That means in the headers as well as the paragraphs and throughout the different modules on your website pages. For example, let's navigate back up to the top of this homepage. Now, there are over 200 ranking factors for SEO when it comes to ranking your website on Google. However, the most important factor that never changes is the quality of your content. And that's where you want to spend most of your time. You wanna make sure that you're providing high quality and relevant content across your different website pages. For example, if we click on this block here, we can navigate up to edit text and simply edit this content on the front end. Now, you wanna make sure that you have keywords in your content. As you can see here, I'm introducing this brand. So a keyword for me is my business name, Gould and Garrett. Another keyword that I want to target is handmade jewelry. So you need to take the time to identify keywords that you want to rank for. These are keyword search terms terms or phrases that your potential customers are typing in on Google. Essentially, what keywords do you want your customers to type in on Google to discover your brand? Now, I'm not gonna talk too much about keyword research because I have plenty of tutorials which I'll link down below in the description that will help you engage in keyword research. However, that is the most important activity that I want to share, and that is making sure that your content is high quality and relevant. And this means that you're adding the correct keywords into your content, as well as providing relevant information across your different website pages for your audience. And this falls under on-page SEO. This is optimizing your website pages from the front end so that you rank higher on Google search and other search engines. Now, you can also leverage AI to help you create content. Maybe you're not much of a content writer and you need help creating copy for your website pages, then you can leverage Wix's AI text creator. Simply add your business type as well as your business name. Choose the text type. Do you want help creating content for the title or a paragraph, then add the topic for this text, and then add a prompt. For example, introduce our business and include the following keywords, handmade jewelry, women's necklaces, New Zealand materials. So I've added what I want to mention, which is just an introduction about this business, and then keywords that I want AI to leverage. Once you've added your prompt and important details, come down and click on create text and you'll be surprised at the unique content that the AI text creator will generate for you. You can simply come down and copy the text if you're happy with this AI generated content, or you can use the text, and that's going to add this text into this section over here. And you can view the other options that the AI has generated down here. If you're not happy with any of these options, you can go ahead and change this content slightly and then click on create text. As you can see, this is a handy AI tool that you can leverage to optimize your content. Okay, so I'm going to close out of this. And now what we wanna do is navigate to the back end of our website and optimize our SEO settings. 
simply navigate over to site over on the left hand side and then come down and locate dashboard. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then navigate down the left hand side and locate site and mobile app and then website and SEO and then click on SEO. And one of the first things that you want to do is connect your Wix website with the Google Search Console as well as with Google Analytics. This is going to allow you to measure the performance of your website on Google and across other channels. If you're interested in following a tutorial on how you can do this, I will add the appropriate tutorials down below in the description. Okay, so what we want to do is navigate down to SEO settings and click here. And what we want to do is edit the default page settings. This is going to allow us to make global changes to our SEO settings across our different pages. Come down to main pages, click here, and our main pages are essentially the main pages that you can find in your primary menu. These are your home page, about, contact page, services page, and all your other main pages. Let's come down to basics and social share and then click on edit. And this is where we can customize the default look of our website pages as they display on Google search and across other search engines. Here we have an example of a preview on Google for the contact page. We have the page name, contact. You can see we have the title tag, page name, and then site name. And the site name is over here, Gould and Garrett. We can also add other variables. If we click here, we can come down and we could add country, city, all these other variables but I'm happy with this default title tag here okay so we have our title tag now what we want to do is add the meta description simply click here and then click on add variable and then navigate down the page and then click on business description and that's going to add the business description to every page of our website in terms of the meta description which displays on Google search now for SEO what we want to do to further optimize our meta description is to make sure that our meta description on each of our different pages is different and is relevant to that website page. And we can make those changes soon. So I'm actually going to delete this and I'm going to show you how to create a unique meta description for each individual page. Then navigate down to page URL. We're gonna keep this as it is. Then come down and you wanna make sure that this is turned on. Let search engines index your main site pages. We want all our main website pages to be found on Google search and other search engines. Then down here we have social share. This is if you're sharing a website page on social media and this is the preview that will generate. I'm happy with the title tag here as well as the description. This will pull in the meta description of that particular page. And then here, ideally, you want to add an image of your brand. Then we have social share settings for X in particular. Again, I would keep these two the same and then upload my own image using an image from my site files. And that's going to display over here when you share a main page from your website on social media like X. Now, once you've customized your default SEO settings for your main pages, navigate over to edit by page. Here you can see the three pages that we have on this example website. You can see the page URL. I'm happy with contact about and then just a dash for the home page. This is standard. Then we have title tag. Again, I'm happy with the title tag and this is based on the default settings that we set up over here. Then we have meta description and this is what we want to customize so that our meta description is unique across our different pages. And here we can see if these pages are indexable. As you can see, each of these three pages are. Okay, so let's click on these three dots and then click on edit. Simply navigate down to meta description. And again, this is the meta description that shows up below the title tag in search engines. You want to make sure that your meta description is relevant, has keywords, and even has a CTA, a call to action. And again, make sure that this is turned on. Let search engines index this page. Now we can also leverage AI to help us create a meta description. However, for generating a meta description with AI, we will need to upgrade to at least the premium plan. So I'm going to quickly manually add a meta description for this page, the contact page on our website. And as you can see, I've quickly created a unique meta description for this contact page. Now, if we navigate up here, you can see that it's recommended to use 155 to 165 characters to summarize this page. 
Again, you wanna make sure that you're adding keywords into your meta description, as well as a call to action. And you also wanna make sure that this copy is relevant. Okay, so once you've added and optimized your meta description, title tag, URL slug, then we can navigate over to advanced. Now, we're not gonna to talk too much about the advanced options here, as it's not vital and relevant in this beginner's tutorial. Then navigate over to social share. Remember, we discussed social share under customized defaults. However, if you want to add a particular social share customization for this specific page, you can go ahead and add that in here. All you need to do is upload an image and you want this image to be relevant to this page that you're optimizing and everything else is okay. We've got our title and then description, which we added earlier, which will be pulled from our meta description that we added under basics. Okay, so I'm happy with my SEO settings for contact. So I'm going to navigate down and click on publish. As you can see, your SEO changes were saved. However, the site isn't published yet. If you're ready to publish your website pages, simply navigate over to, go to editor and publish your page or website. I'm going to close this and then close the SEO settings for our contact page. Okay, so that's how you can make custom changes to the SEO settings of each of your main pages. Simply follow the same process I just showed you, but for each of your different main pages. Okay, so let's navigate back. And if you run an online store, you'll see this option to optimize your product pages. We have these different options here. However, we just need to focus on basics and social share. And remember, we've got customize defaults selected. This will make changes to all our SEO settings for our product pages. Again, for the title tag, we have the product name and the site name. You can see an example over here. For the meta description, what we're gonna do is click on add variable and then add product description. And this variable is going to pull in the product description into the meta description for each of our different products. As you can see, that's going to save us time, especially if you've got hundreds or thousands of products, rather than manually adding and customizing the meta description, you can just pull in the product description. And we have similar settings down here when it comes to sharing this product across social media. You can see an example of a product image down here. We can change that by adding a different image URL. And again, we have X, similar to what I showed you, but I'm happy with these settings. Again, once you've made any changes, simply click on save and then navigate over to edit by product. You can see the product name, the page URL, as well as the title tag, meta description, and if that product page is indexable. To make any changes to the SEO settings for each of these product pages, simply click on the product and then make changes over here. Now, because we're pulling in the product description, our product description is very long. Remember, we want to be between 155 to 165 characters. So what I would do is delete a bunch of this text. And as you can see, I've quickly optimized this meta description because I had formatting issues in here and the description was too long. Again, once you've made any changes, simply click on save. Now let's close this and head back to SEO settings and then navigate down to page type. Now I've showed you how to optimize your SEO settings for your main pages, as well as your product pages, but you also might see the option if you have a blog on your website, the option to optimize your blog pages. Again, the process is similar to these different page types. So again, you want to take the time to navigate through your different page types and you want to first customize the default settings and then make sure that each of the pages are correct. If not, then you can click on each of the pages and further customize the SEO settings for each of those pages. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover for this Wix SEO tutorial for beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Wix SEO tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about optimizing your Wix website to get discovered online, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.